It's Sustainable Seafood Week, and I'm here in Newlyn to cook some MSC Cornish Hake. It's one of my favorite fish, and I'm gonna show you how to do some pretty nice tacos. So I've got a beautiful fillet, almost a whole side here of Cornish hake. I'm gonna show you how to turn this into delicious tacos with a seaweed beer batter. Uh, first of all though, I'm gonna get on with prepping uh, some flatbreads and also a salsa to accompany it. So for the salsa, um, hake by the way is very similar say to cod or haddock as a white fish, really robust, fantastic when it's fried in a batter, um, but it also benefits with strong flavors around it. So today I'm gonna to be using uh, some cucumber to make a little salsa, but rather than straight up cucumber, um, I'm gonna char it over the barbecue just to introduce a little bit of caramelization. Um, what it also does is adds a whole sweetness to the cucumber. And to go along this charcoal theme, we've also got some um, really tasty flatbreads, which we're gonna get on. Now the flatbreads have done a simple straight up yogurt and flour, but with a slight twist of doing some charcoal. So we're gonna press these in a, a taco press, which you can you know, use a rolling pin or something if you prefer. Just goes into the center like a, a portion, You've got about a dozen of these, and then you press it down, flattens it out, so it's quite an easy thing to do. And then that taco, it's gonna go straight onto a seasoned griddle. And it's gonna just cook until it's ready. One of the fantastic things about Cornish Hake, since it's become MSC certified, is that the value of the fish has actually gone up which feeds directly back into communities here in Cornwall. So by buying sustainably sourced and blue eco label approved fish you know that you're actually feeding straight back into the community's heritage and tradition of Cornish fishing. So these are the very speedy little uh, flatbreads or tacos made with the classic recipe of yogurt, flour, um, and then a little bit of deactivated charcoal powder, which is just quite fun. Cornish colours of black and gold. So we're gonna have a golden batter and a lovely black flatbread. I'm now gonna move on to making a dead easy salsa. Uh, the caramelised sort of burnt cucumber here is gonna be the main body of it. And I'm gonna dice it up with the jalapenos, some lime and capers. The other thing I love about the MSC and the way they operate, it's all about encouraging people to look for that label on fish that they're buying. And this is one way that you can all become a big part of a seafood mission where we're focusing on sustainability um, and leaving more fish in the sea for the future. So as more and more fish and seafood is taken out of the oceans, it's causing long lasting problems for the species, for the local economy, and for ocean life and natural habitat. So if you're actually making that decision to look for the label, it makes a massive difference. I better look lively because I've got the Harbour Master and his team coming for uh, tacos for tea. So I'm gonna be doing a classic Cornish beer, like a nice IPA hoppy lager there um, with a bit of Cornish seaweed in the batter. So I've got the oil heating up to 180 degrees and I've got two charred jalapenos here. So this is gonna be pretty pokey roughly chopped and mixed in there with the cucumber. And if you wanted to, you could blitz all of this in a food processor, keep it nice and smooth, but I'm going rustic because I'm here in Newlyn. I figure, you know, don't stand on ceremony, just get on with it and make a lovely Cornish hake taco. So we're gonna use the zest and the juice of this lime. So in there, I just popped some cornichons or baby gherkins, capers, lots of lime juice. And now just a decent tablespoon of parsley, just roughly chopped. Put in a couple of tablespoons of that. And then I'm gonna finish this salsa with olive oil, nice pinch of sea salt. That salsa looks and smells lovely, really nice and fresh. Now I'm gonna move on to cooking the fish, the main event. So what I've got is a lovely whole side fillet there of Cornish hake. All I'm gonna do is chop it up, just mix it with a little bit of flour and then make a beer batter. So first of all, I'm gonna portion it. That's dead easy to do. Take your knife. 
And if you want to really get the most out of this fish, what you want to do is actually salt it a couple of hours before you want to use it. I'm gonna let that parsley get all over it and season it instead with some seaweed salt just while I make up the batter. Portioning it into some nice pieces. I'm looking for almost goujons here to go inside the tacos. The tacos, uh, the flatbreads themselves, the little tortillas are just in a tea towel, having been cooked, staying warm. The oil is just preheating, so we're almost ready to go. The last thing I'm gonna do is pop together a little bit of uh, coleslaw, which is just some fennel, carrot, and grated apple. And then we're gonna dip these bits of fish in a real nice beer batter. So we're gonna dredge this with some plain flour. The reason that I like to take the fish and just pop it in the flour is so that the batter sticks. So it's a really important little step, but you just wanna get all of that fish, which has got this lovely seaweed salt on it as well, into some plain flour. I'm gonna set that to one side while I whisk together a batter. For my batters, generally, I use half and half corn flour and plain flour. The beer we're gone for today is Korev. It's just a Cornish IPA, should work a treat. The use of corn flour is a bit like a tempura batter, I suppose, so it adds it a little bit lighter than your usual beer batter. Um, but that's coming together nicely. The seaweed, as it fries, is gonna really sort of turn a translucent green and basically any Cornish hake that you put in batter is gonna be delicious. If you're looking for other ways to cook it, then I've done loads of recipes for Sustainable Seafood Week with ideas for the whole family, some fancy recipes, some that are fast. Um, here we go, batter's coming together nicely. Let that rest for a second. Dunk in my fish and fry it off, ready to pop in a taco. And then I'm at the point where I can just pop together a taco with some nice fresh lime juice and serve. It really is very, very simple to have a go at cooking this amazing fish. It's been an absolute pleasure cooking here in Newlyn. Cornish hake from straight out there. It's being served as a taco, but I hope it inspires you to have a go yourself. Any sort of recipe tastes fantastic if you try Cornish hake. This one is full of spice in that lovely salsa. I've got the beer batter on the fish, nice bit of coleslaw in the base, and then a, a charcoal flatbread. Cheers. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs>